power is upon me because the Lord Yahweh has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. And that's right, broken in the mind. To proclaim the heart, the word heart means mind. Right. To proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. To proclaim, verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable years of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, and the day of vengeance of our power. And that's what, that's what, we, that's what we're doing this for. We're proclaiming all these things. And that's another thing that's in this book the coming of our Lord. Yeah, the king become the Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh is sending our shot back to, to that's what we proclaiming. We telling the world these things. To proclaim the acceptable years of our of our of the Lord Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. That's what we do. This is a comfort. This is what this is. This is we comfort our people, right? The people of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. He has a people, right? The Lord is a separatist. Sloppy. I'm falling in the spirit right now, just searching out verses. Because this is a spiritual book. This book is living water. This book is alive. It lives, man. This book is alive, man. I, and and, it, and it, it, for something to be alive, it has to be able to do, it has to, it has to have certain remedies, healing factors, even, even bad things. It's an equal, it's an it's a even balance. This book it has everything that you need to know in here. No book could compare to this book. Says, see, it's this a this is a this is a comforting thing, man. This book it does everything for you. This is why we all jacked up, and when when, it, when this is over, we're never gonna be like this again. This is the last. Oh man, this is it. Do you know how many dim, dim, dimensions and decades and let I me, mean, um, and reincarnation situations we was in? Can you imagine how many you've been through? When now you're in the body right this body right now, and if you know this truth, if you got this, the, the if you got the, the breakdowns, you was taught by the right men, you know this is it. This is the last go around. You can feel it. It says Isaiah chapter twenty five verse eight. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord power will wipe will wipe away tears from off all faces. Israelite faces, you Negroes and Spanish and Native American, and rebuke, and the rebuke of his people shall be taken away, 
See, there you go. The rebuke of his people he should take away from off all the earth. For the Lord has has spoken it. Yahweh Shemel Shai has spoken it. See, these words is right now, it's just the comforting book. He's going to comfort you. He's going to make sure you never have to do that, go through that again. And this is what we do this for. We look at we looking to get we looking to be healed, man. We are sick as a nation, as a whole nation. We are sick. I was just watching some shit going on in Nigeria. Motherfuckers is playing with hyenas. It's just crazy. <laughs> Motherfuckers got hyenas. Uh, I mean, it, in the kingdom, we're gonna be able to do things like this. But in a righteous manner, they doing that shit crazy over there, you know. They doing it crazy. They got I don't know what they call the hyena men. I don't know. It's just crazy. I'll just watch them. What the fuck is this man? It's just crazy. But then you know, in the kingdom, we're gonna have all types of animals that we're just gonna have, and they're gonna worship us. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna um they're gonna be, they're gonna have fear on us. They're gonna be our pets. But in a good way, they how they had these hyenas and shit. Hyenas, we're gonna have lions and tigers and bears. We're gonna have hyenas too, but they gonna we ain't gonna have to have no rope around their neck. Now you, I'm telling you, this is crazy. All right. It was crazy. Ugh. Go back. All right, Isaiah 61, verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable years of Yahweh Shemel Shah and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. And that's what we do. That's that's another thing we do. We, the thing we do when we go on hours in the Bible is this is what we do this for. We, 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 you know, this ain't this ain't an easy this ain't an easy mission. This ain't no easy task. We got, we got, we got, this is beef. We're going up against the heaviest of all right now. We got the heaviest nation ever to, to run the wickedest nation on the earth right now that runs this earth right now. We're going up against the worst of the worst. All right? We're going up against the, the, who man. But our power is, 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 um, is beyond his measures, Okay? But as as that's how you know we need Yahweh. We need we still we need to be saved. Cause we can't beat fucking our Shashua. They military man, if you think we come on, look at all the years of Black Panthers, um uh um um fuck they call Muslims and all this other shit. None of that shit worked. That's how you know us fleshy wise can't beat these people. That's how you know we, how. That's how you know that within this book, everything in this book is telling us exactly why certain things is happening, why things gotta happen, why you have to have hope in in in, in, in the stronghold, which is the scriptures. This is why we have to, we have to patiently wait. We have to do what we got to do. We have to do this correctly. We have to live like citizens of this society. We can't go around, we can't break laws. We can't do nothing illegal. We got to stay righteous, man. Because anything could break us, man. Anything could turn us back, man. We becoming kings and priests. Because of our, because of our, um, because of our duties, our reasonable service. Let me see if I can find that one. Let me see some slack that just came to mind right now. Reasonable service. I 
I'm not gonna have it pops up. Alright. Yeah, it is. So it was the first verse. It was only one verse. Um, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, ac holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Just our reasonable service. This is what how we. This is what how we. This is how we. This is how when we get when we came to this. This was keeping us alive, despite all the bullshit that we still gotta go through. It's crazy. All right, to proclaim the acceptable years of Yahweh and the days of, of vengeance of our power. Is that he want vengeance? He want vengeance to co co to comfort all that mourn. Verse three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That's all in his book. That they might be called trees of righteousness. That planting, I mean, the planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. And that's us planting us. We planting these seeds in your minds. Alright. We got that's that's our job. This is our this is our job doing this what we're doing for the people. This is what you have our Shah sent us to do. He didn't send us to do to do nothing else. Well, we think we must go out there and no, no, all that dumb shit people are doing now with guns and shit. We got enough issues. Got enough issues being alive. Damn demons. So uh, so uh, yeah. Let me read that verse again. I just thought of something that just mad thoughts just ran to my head. Alright. Um Isaiah chapter sixty one verse three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. And we and, and in Zion is the monument. That's us. It's the it's the that's that's unique with Hispanic Native American. Right now, probably the hundred and forty four thousand men and um the man, women and children, one third. We 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 mourn it. This the this the the, the hopeful elect is being sealed. And you could tell by their cries, and and you know you notice that the numbers do the numbers have grown this year, because a lot of things is happening, and they starting to they starting to um, um how you say. Focus. They try to they start to narrow down who they should focus on, and it's the apostles. Because this year, this if things just gotta happen, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them the beauty for ashes. I, the scriptures is beauty. This is your. This is this is what's making you moist. You ain't dry bones no more. You ain't dry bones no more. You're not dry no more. Uh, to appoint unto them that mourn as I am. To give unto them. Beauty for ashes. The oil of joy from mourning. The oil of joy from mourning. This is oil. The scripture talk about oil. Alright, you trim your lamps. Putting that oil up in you. Putting these just truth up in you. The oil for joy and for mourning. The garment of praise. The scripture speaks about that 